Oh, he definitely sees them as intimately connected. Uh, for Benedict, uh, revelation is at the heart of theology. And he would even say theology is a rational reflection on God's revelation. And he, and he likes to use this uh, traditional expression, uh, faith-seeking understanding. Uh, and so this is what the essence of theology is, faith-seeking understanding. Yet uh, theology, faith-seeking understanding, can never stand alone. Theology needs to be done in conjunction with philosophy. Now, he uses both Martin Luther and Karl Barth as uh, Protestant giants who were opposed to philosophy. Now, that's another debate, but uh, he does not want theology to be opposed, disconnected from philosophy, like in his view, Luther and Barth did. So uh, whether that's true or not, that's another point to debate, but it just shows you the interconnectedness of these, of these two disciplines. Uh, most importantly, I think, uh, Benedict did not champion philosophy as supplying content for theology, but rather philosophy pointing to the manner, the form in which theology uh, should proceed.